how much burdening you are doing on the final year. So just to enjoy a small honeymoon period in third year, you are making your final year MBBS a hell. Distribute the burden of the subjects properly between third year and the fourth year. Hi guys, welcome to another important video module on the PW method. I'm Dr. Patil and this video is particularly important if you are in third year of MBBS. Now in the recent times after that one reel where I am talking about starting medicine in the third year of MBBS went a bit viral, a lot of you have DM'd me asking a very basic question, sir, do we really need to start the medicine or final year subjects in the third year of MBBS itself? Matlab, ek honeymoon period, hai. why should I start final year subjects? Well, the question is logical, but also let us think a little more logically. So, you only do PSM and FMT in third year. Mein. You don't do your ENT, you don't do your AFTA and you don't touch any medicine, surgery or any final year subjects. Then remember how much burdening you are doing on the final year. Final year, you have medicine, surgery, ops, gyne, radiology, dermatology, anesthesia, psychiatry, you have to do all of this. With ENT, AFTA will be added. So that one year in the final year becomes a hell. So just to enjoy a small honeymoon period in third year, you are making your final year MBBS a hell. Don't do that. Better distribute the burden of the subjects properly between third year and the fourth year. So in that case, you need to take a little bit of final year MBBS medicine burden to third year MBBS. So today we will discuss how you can strategize so that you can make the most use of the time spent in medicine wards in the third year so that your final year becomes a little easier. Okay, so let's begin first. Now if I'm talking about what you can do in the third year of MBBS. So the first focus area that I want you to do from medicine. You have to attend your bedside postings sincerely. Now depending on which university you are enrolled into, you may be spending one month or one and a half months in medicine postings in the third year. So those 30 to 45 days of your medicine postings. Let's make the most use of it. I don't want you to be studying surgery during this period. At the same time, when you're posted in surgery, I don't want you to be studying medicine. medicine ke liye, I just want you to be dedicated to medicine during that period. Baki time mein, agar aapko time milta hai, to medicine pad lo, nahi to chhod do, chal jayega. Right? So what I want you to do in this 30 to 45 days. The first 15 days, I want you to concentrate on getting your bedside medicine right. Means your case presentation, your history taking, your documentation of the history, right? History may what should go in cheap complaints, what should go in past history, what should be presented in the treatment history, what should be presented in the drug history, what should be presented in the family history. That's what I want you to get the clarity and things get sorted. So first 15 days, I want you to concentrate on history taking. Now I know that you will think this is a waste exercise. Maza nahi aa raha isme. But when you finish your internship and give your NEET PG exam, you will come back and thank me or thank in the comment sections of this video. If you make use of these first 15 days properly on history taking. Now, when I'm saying history taking, what does it mean? Just going to the patient bedside and then asking random questions? No. Here, I want you to first develop the communication skills so that you can put the patient who is giving you the history at ease. Patient ko lagna chahiye ki haan, hum kisi familiar person se baat kar rahe hain. Ek formal setting mein. Patient should not feel stressed. Wo practice karo aap. Aapko ho jayega. Aapko aram se communication a jayega. And that's definitely a life skill, not just a doctor's skill, right? So I want you to concentrate on building the communication skills. Now, first time when you go to the patient and talk to him, if you notice that, okay, this approach did not click well and patient did not open up, he did not give me a proper history, then us approach ko do. Develop a new approach. Next time, kuch alag try karo to communicate with the patient. Mere or mere jaise teachers ke bahut sare videos aapko YouTube mein, Medit ke app mein, yahaan wahaan mil jayenge, jahaan pe hum different types of communication with the patients ke baare mein baat kar rahe Try the strategies that work, be the master of the communication. Okay. Second, 
in this 15 days period i want you to learn the approach to common symptoms approach to common symptoms now you may be wondering sir why are you talking about approach to common symptoms in history history mein bas hum patient ko poochte hain wo jo bhi batata hai likh dete hain no history has to be structured structured tab banega jab aapko approach to common symptoms aate hain for example i am taking a very simple example patient is complaining of cough पेशेंट के लिए वो बस उतना ही कंप्लेंट है पिछले दो दिन से या पिछले दो हफ्ते से मुझे खांसी है आई एम कॉफिंग फ्रॉम लास्ट टू वीक्स दैट्स इज कंप्लेंट नाउ यू हैव टू बिल्ड अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस मतलब नॉट सेइंग कुक द स्टोरी एम जस्ट टेलिंग दैट एलिसिट द हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द पेशेंट बट टू एलिसिट द प्रॉपर यूजफुल हिस्ट्री यू नीड टू नो द अप्रोच टू द सिम्टम ऑफ कॉफ मतलब फॉर यू टू डायग्नोज वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दिस पेशेंट्स कॉफ you need to know whether this cough is acute subacute or chronic you need to know whether this cough is associated with sputum or not if it is associated with sputum you need to know what is the nature of the sputum what is the color of the sputum does it smell bad are there any aggravating and relieving factors so these points will essentially help you in going closer to the diagnosis of course examination will add more information but history ke level pe hi many of the diseases can be diagnosed so that's why approach to common symptoms learning that is important because jab hum approach jante hain to then whatever information patient is throwing at us randomly or haphazardly i can channelize it in a way that it becomes useful for me so what symptoms i want you to concentrate ab sare symptoms to possible nahi hai for you to complete in this 15 days period so i want you to concentrate on few important symptoms so i was talking about cough so let me mention that cough ek ho gaya chest pain dusra ho gaya then third dyspnea or shortness of breath chautha jaundice or yellowish discoloration of the skin then next one is weakness motor weakness to be more precise so you need to know how to approach a patient presenting with weakness of some body part right heart move right heart move nahi ho raha hai left leg move nahi ho raha hai patient having those complaints of motor weakness these are the important symptoms i want you to know a clear cut approach if someone next comes to you with cough you should be able to get a good history and reach the provisional diagnosis from the history itself if someone comes to you with chest pain you should be able to reach the provisional diagnosis from the complaint itself so please help me to get this approach well harrison has first 300 350 pages purely dedicated to symptoms from there you can get all these approaches agar harrison padhna mushkil hai so don't worry just go to the youtube and there is this read harrison series go to the initial videos of read harrison series series where i have covered approach to the common symptoms that is the second thing i want you to do in the first 15 days once you're done with this right you're ready for your words matlab aapko koi bhi professor aake chilla ke nahi chala jayega because common symptoms you're able to deal with because if i talk about copd which is one of the common patient that you will be seeing in your words he will come with cough and dyspnea if i talk about heart failure he will present with dyspnea right if i talk about cld he will be presenting with jaundice along with that abdominal distension if i talk about stroke that patient will be presenting with motor weakness if you talk about road traffic accidents and spinal cord injuries again the patient will be presenting with motor weakness so these symptoms will help you to deal with most of the common cases that you are going to get in your wards so first 15 days this is all you need to do but after that the next 15 days i want you to concentrate on some important diseases which you can complete in the third year these are treasure trove of mcqs you will be able to answer lot of mcqs from these topics and at the same time you will also be able to use this knowledge to understand your ward patients better so what i am suggesting is that let us marry let us arrange a marriagement between a marriage between what you do in the wards and what you can do with the books So next 15 days I want you to study important theory topics what are the important theory topic topics 
the first important theory topic i am recommending is yes copd second asthma third pneumonia fourth heart failure fifth cld sixth stroke and the last one valvular heart diseases agar aapko ye valvular heart diseases filhal difficult lagte hain they can be difficult if you feel that they are difficult then you can omit this right now don't take the burden of completing the valvular heart diseases in the third year mbbs if you find it difficult to understand because there are a lot of concepts involved you need to have the clarity of the cardiac cycle to understand valvular heart disease better hota hai to theek hai nahi hota hai to filhal ignore karo but the remaining topics i want you to complete now if you have another 15 days to spare for medicine means agar aapke posting 45 days ki hai to aur hum kya kar sakte hain the next 15 days i want you to concentrate on mcqs and case presentations now you may say sir case presentation to hum first day of medicine posting se kar rahe hain that's there I'll, i'll tell you so what i want you to do in the mcqs in the mcqs jo important topics humne list kiya hai copd asthma pneumonia heart failure cld stroke valvular heart disease inke beech mein कम से कम फाइव प्लस नीट पी जी एम सी क्यूज आएंगे एंड इफ यू कपल दैट विथ योर फार्म आई कैन पैथ नॉलेज यू कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट अराउंड सिक्स टू सेवन एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम दीज टॉपिक्स इट सेल्फ एंड नाउ डेज लॉट ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स आर बिकमिंग क्लिनिकली ओरिएंटेड सो वट एवर लर्निंग यू आर गेटिंग इन द वर्ल्ड दैट विल अप्लाई टू दीज टॉपिक्स एंड हेल्प यू स्कोर मोर मार्क्स सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू एम सी क्यूज ऑन टॉपिक स्टडीड not entire medicine but the topics that we shortlisted as important to be done in the third year mbbs itself on those topics studied and where i want you to concentrate not just medicine on not just medicine yes medicine ke mcq solve karo but you are in third year of mbbs right you are very very fresh from your pharmacology and pathology knowledge you are very fresh from your microbiology knowledge so i want you to apply those knowledge and try solving mcqs from the pharma patho and माइक्रो ऑल्सो फार्मा पैथो एंड माइक्रो अब माइक्रो में क्या रेलिवेंट है सो इफ यूर स्टडी लेट एस ए न्यूमोनिया इफ यूर स्टडी न्यूमोनिया देन यू नो द कॉमन ऑर्गेनिजम्स यू नो द ड्रग्स ऑफ चॉइस फॉर फॉर दोज ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो यू विल बी एबल टू डील विथ फ्यू एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एज वेल राइट सो इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग अ सिस्टमिक अप्रोच टू माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इंस्टेड ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम बेस्ड अप्रोच देन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व सम एम in the third mbbs but at least do medicine pharma and pathology mcqs on the topics that we have covered i'm not saying everything in pathology should be revised now everything in pharmacology should be revised now no at least the topics that we have discussed they can be revised and remember these topics i have told you they hold 5 to 7 marks and 5 to 7 marks choti cheez nahi hai it can break it can make or break the deal of your dream branch right so like for example stroke ke andar bahut kuch hai thrombolytic agents unke pharmacology indications contraindications for thrombolysis newer drugs for thrombolysis all that is covered in pharmacology heart failure heart failure is like loaded with pharmacology mcqs which drugs can reduce mortality which drugs increase mortality which drugs give symptomatic benefit their mechanism of actions their common side effects these are all areas jahan pe examiners apne pair phailate hain when they are asking mcqs so that you are covering now in third year mbbs right asthma there is lot of pharmacology inhalers inhaler techniques short acting and long acting beta agonists short acting and long acting anti muscarinic agents newer biologicals the monoclonal antibodies all that you are addressing right then COPD there are again some new class of drugs some new treatment strategies according to gold guidelines that you are revising now itself okay then if you are talking about 
CLD, you are studying about albumin, you are also touching a little bit of the hepatopathology, different micronodular, macronodular cirrhosis, so you are touching pathology. And if you are going to valvular heart disease, there is a lot of pathology and you will be literally revising the whole cardiac physiology along with that. If you time, milta hai, to wo bhi karke aap take sakte ho. But if not, at least cover the remaining topics. Aapka bahut had tak medicine, path and pharma, pharma ke important core topics ka revision saath saath mein ho jayega. Right? Apart from that, in these 15 days, I want you to give serious case presentation. Means not like how from day one you have started doing case presentation randomly patients ke paas bhai, gaya, kuch questions puche and whatever he answered you just documented uske baad mein professor aake ye kyun puchha wo kyun puchha ye kyun likha ye yahan pe nahi hona chahiye tha ye pass history mein hona chahiye tha wo chalta rehta hai right but by this time you have already spent 30 days in medicine and if you have followed the strategy that i have given you should be a refined medical student now you should know what to ask what not to ask where this particular feature should be documented, whether it should go into past history or the history of present illness, whether I should talk about this in the family history. You, you should be refined by now because you have followed either my read Harrison series video modules or Harrison for these symptoms and these are the common symptoms that you are going to get in your ward. So, you should be able to know where to go and information will And based on that, you should be able to do better case presentations now. So, now I want you to do at least four case presentations during this 15 days period if you don't get the opportunity to present your professors you can present it to one of your friend maybe your seniors maybe your pg senior residents jr jo bhi aapko milta hai na pakad lo unko aur unke samne ye case presentation kar do galtiyan ho sakti hai absolutely acceptable you are still not a doctor you are learning right so in in four cases mein i want you to do one cns case presentation one cvs one rs and one abdomen, abdomen I would particularly say a CLD case. If you are done with this, na, now you are ready to pass final MBBS in the third year itself. You don't have to wait. Matlab, of course, no one will let you give the final MBBS exam in third year, but you are ready. right? So that, that way you have strategically used the 30 to 45 days of medicine posting. Jisko time pass ke badle aapne bohut achche tarah se use kya hai. Iske wajay se aapka final year ka burden already thoda sa kam hua. Because now you don't have to worry about your practical preparation in final MBBS. You don't have to worry about these major topics in final MBBS. The baaki jo theory bacha hai, you can concentrate on that. Second, you have dealt with these MCQs and now you are in the loop. Matlab aap third year ke subjects, baaki subjects, MCQs yahaan wahaan aap touch karte rahenge. Because this is a subconscious habit now. Right, so this is a very smart way of building your final year preparation in the third year itself. This is one thing that I wanted to communicate through this video module, and I hope the strategy at least kuch logon ke liye useful rahega. And if it is useful, let me know in the comments. And if you have any gray areas that you want me to address through the YouTube series, let me know. Whenever I find time, we will come live and discuss those topics. Abhi read Harrison series mein, we had few case presentations also by the medical students. They did really well. Those videos are available freely on the YouTube. So to learn more about case presentations, you can go through them. Now those case presentations are at the basic level because hum basic se build karke jate hain. So I have not called my PG students to present case where we will all be doing high end discussions. Both basics second year or third year medical students ne case presentation kiya hai. Go through those video modules and I, I promise to come out with more such case presentations on the YouTube soon, right? So now, if you are in third year MBBS, let's pledge कि हम अब commit करते हैं कि medicine का कुछ ना कुछ हिस्सा हम third year में complete कर लेंगे, ताकि final year में पूरा hundred percent medicine हम लेके नहीं जाएंगे. And now you can extrapolate this strategy for surgery and ops guide, or you can also instead think of covering the short subjects of final year in the third year itself. But इतना तो मैं कहना चाहता हूँ कि third MBBS mein, please please cover some part of your final year MBBS goes a long way in your success story thank me later that's it see you soon guys bye bye